I've donated bone marrow. I've donated bone marrow. And I've donated bone marrow too. Three generations of bone marrow donors. Being a match is rare enough, making the Taylor family very rare indeed. It all started with grandfather Alan, who donated 15 years ago. I spared five minutes of my life to give some blood and hoping that they would have a better life after and a better quality of life. And how does it feel for you to know that your son and your grandson have carried on that legacy of giving bone marrow? Oh, overwhelmed, over the moon. Great, lovely for them. Made me proud and I'm proud of those as well. Very proud. For Alan, that pride comes from knowing he's touched someone's life, something that encouraged his grandson, Corey, to follow in his footsteps. You're giving someone that second chance at life, giving their family hope that they can overcome the terrible disease that they're fighting. That could be the light at the end of the tunnel for those fighting blood cancers. For many people with blood cancer, this is the last option of treatment after rounds of chemo have failed. So when they find out there's a match out there who is able and willing to provide a life-changing donation and is clearly significant and very special to the patient. Now the family want to break down people's misconceptions about donating to encourage others to do it too. People are afraid to, to give bone marrow. It, it, it's not painful whatsoever. Um, it's just like the actual process is just actually like giving blood. For this extraordinary family, it's a chance to share their love of life with the hope that their selfless acts will be continued by generations to come. They're very proud and privileged. And like you say, for my grandson and my son, ah, what can you say? Yeah, I think I just hope that we can carry this on through yeah. generations. So my children, uh, my uncle's children, hopefully they can do the same when they get to that age and they are a match at some point in their life. I do think about it. Sometimes I lay in bed at night. I think about, you know, is this person doing okay? And I know this person is doing okay. And I think, well, you know, I've donated. My job is done. It's made me realise how precious life is.